Hi, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'm an astrophysicist with the American Museum of Natural History, and I'm host of Star Talk Radio. Welcome back to Star Talk Radio. <laughs> and it's fighting all these air molecules. Like, what's up with that? We win. Astrophysicists win. Oh! Yeah, I said it. Snap! Bada bing! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah. I'm getting it! Dark matter. I get asked what it is, and my best answer is we haven't a clue. <laughs> We don't know what it is. We look out in the universe and 85% of all the gravity that's out there has some mysterious unknown source. We add up all the stars, the galaxies, the planets, the comets, the black holes, the dark clouds, everything out there that we can see, touch, smell, or taste. And it doesn't add up to give us the gravity that we see operating in this universe. So really we should be calling it the dark force because we don't know if it's made of matter. Like, it could be a profound misnomer, sending people off in thought directions that might not really be uh, the right path. So dark matter is just simply what we call this thing about which we know nothing, responsible for 85% of the gravity of the cosmos. We've known about dark matter since the 1930s. Back then it was called missing mass. That's what it was called. Because yeah, there's gotta be some mass. Where is it? We can't find it. It's gotta be here somewhere because we got the gravity. If you have the gravity, you gotta have the mass. Mass and gravity go together. Uh, it's really dark gravity. Actually, we shouldn't call it anything. We should call it Fred. <laughs> Something that has no meaning because we don't know what it is to call it. But it, has been a, it is the longest standing unsolved problem in modern astrophysics. 